In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you in a little more detail than my previous tutorial on the Ark of the Covenant how to clean these angels. So this one specifically is cleaning up these angels and getting them ready to primer and then gold foil or paint or gold chrome. So each angel has a seam line that starts up here on the band of the head and there's a seam that's inside here. There is a seam that's running down the thighs to the base edge on both sides. So the seam runs up here, it runs up here, it comes along the wing edge at the very bottom most part of this edge and it comes across. We're going to handle those seam lines with 60 grit paper. I have a 60 grit sanding sponge and I have a fine sanding sponge and a Dremel. You can see that that seam line is pretty much just disappearing right now. I can't even see it. Now the first thing you want to do is take the high spots off of these seams and I'll be using the sanding sponge, the heavy grit sanding sponge, and the heavy grit paper. And you just want to flatten out any of those high spots. So I'm going to start here at the base, work my way up the thighs, and then down the wings. When you're all the way down across to the other side, then you want to work the seam here. These sanding sponges are pretty nice to use because they flex around corners. You can really push them in and get into those hard to reach spaces. Occasionally on these castings you'll have a little pinhole. There's one right here. It's really hard to see. It's very small but you can probably see it right there. Very easy to fill. We don't have to use any kind of automotive filler for this. This is just a real quick spot to fill in. And I use Aves Epoxy Sculpt. This is great stuff. This should be on every modeler's bench. So you just mix this putty one part to one part. And then we're going to push this putty into that little hole. And it'll take what it needs and then smooth it over. For this next level of sanding we're going to get in here with a rotary tool and define these wing shapes. Sometimes the seams a little bit heavier on the edges of these wings. So we're going to take our little rotary tool and carve this. Carve away that seam line. I'm going to get in here and clean her brow just a little bit. In this area here where the wing meets the side of the head, it doesn't hurt to grab a little microfile and just define that just a little bit more. Just kind of bring that edge up to a sharp line to the side of the head. I have a little bit of Bondo mixed up and I have a little sculpting trowel, just a little mini tool. These are Harbor Freight sculpting tools and I'm going to take this angel now and I'm going to examine where that seam line still exists and it's mostly on these wing tips so I'm just going to trowel on a small amount of filler we're going to let that dry and then sand it flush and that seam line will completely disappear From here on out, you don't want to use any sandpaper that's above 220. 220 and below, because this is a good finished sand. I 
I'm pretty happy with these parts. Now I'm going to wash these guys. Soap and water. It's a little bit of Dawn and some warm water. We want to get any kind of finger oils off of this, any kind of debris that got on here from doing our work. I'm just going to scrub both of these guys, dry them out, and then we primer. And there you have it, cleaning the angels from beginning to end and preparing them for paint, gold foiling, or chroming. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check back for regular content. Thanks for watching.